Hi everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to show you a trick that I think will find pretty useful. First, let me explain my test case. I have a little piece of HTML that contains an example and then some text. And I'm going to find the example by ID, but then inside the element I want to find element that contains the text and I don't hardcode the text. Instead, I'm putting it into an environment variable using Cypress env parameter or in Cypress JSON. And all I'm trying to do is find an element that contains the text and then confirm that it has the class target. So this should pass, right? Let's click on the test itself and it fails and it says that site contains can only accept a string number regular expression. So I have no idea what's going on, right? Why site contains failed. So first, open the DevTools, look at the console. Anytime you see something that doesn't start with a little Cy but instead uses the word Cypress, these are static methods. You can run them outside of any test, which means you can just take this Cypress and call, paste it in your DevTools at any time, and run it. And it runs undefined. So the problem here is that our environment object doesn't have person name. Okay, so before we solve this, let me give you a tip. Every time you use a variable that comes from somewhere else, don't use it and then assume it's there. Instead, put it in a variable and assert, right? And give it maybe a good message person name to be a string. And then use it inside the container. Now, this will fail again, but at least you'll know what's wrong. Okay, second, why don't we see what's inside the end object if we call Cypress and without any arguments, it will give us entire object. Now you see I have a couple settings there and the person name is Gleb, but it's a lowercase. Okay, so this is part of a problem. Now before we proceed with fixing this, go to the actual desktop GUI, the first window that opens when you start Cypress. Under the settings, you have a configuration tab. These are all the Cypress settings resolved from the Cypress JSON file from the plugins file, from dash dash env parameter, if any, from any environment variables. There is environment object right there. So you can see the same thing, right? And notice it comes from config. So it actually tells you where all those settings come from. Okay, so it's coming from config. That's why I misspelled it. So let's open Cypress JSON, fix the variable key name. Okay, now let's go back to our test. And now it should just work. Okay, so this is how you would approach debugging a failing command that reads something from Cypress env. Add an assertion to make sure that you're using what you think you're using. Right? Verify it from the Cypress env using the Cypress env from the DevTools console. And here's one more trick. Right? Not only you can verify it, but you can override it. So, for example, it'll say Joe. Okay. Now this test will fail because it's Joe is there, but it's not in our HTML. So not only you can see the values in the Cypress and from the DevTools, you can even set them. Take care.